Well, in the morning, we've uh, had the change of guard ceremony uh, in which uh, some of you have witnessed the ceremony, the change of guard from uh, our former Secretary General, Mr. Sinam Prakash Singh, handed over to Mr. Mutsi Koyo Yobo. And in the uh, Executive Council meeting of the NESO, we have discussed uh, certain issues which are important issues for the state of the northeastern region and with regard to the issues affecting the different states of the northeastern region the we have decided that we will meet with the central government the government of india to press for demands to press for the early implementation of the issues and also not only the central government but also the different state governments of the different states of the northeastern region and also the governors of the different states of the northeastern region. Not only that, the NESO, uh, we will continue with the democratic process of agitation in the coming days and to press upon the central government to take these issues seriously, which is affecting the microscopic indigenous communities of the whole of the northeastern region. And with regard to the a common university entrance test. The NESO has taken a principal stand that we are against this common university entrance test on the ground that we have only very few central universities in the northeastern region and also the, this common entrance test for the students of the northeastern region we are still lacking behind in many areas and it is uh, an injustice if our students are made to uh, sit in the exam, the common entrance exam with the other students from the different parts of the mainland India in which the education is far more superior compared to the different education scenarios in the northeastern region. The northeastern organization has learned that the government of China has renamed the 11 places in Arshal Pradesh bordering China, especially in Tawal, Anjao, and Upper Subansari districts to Chinese names. <coughs> and the NESO has condemned this sinister plan of the Chinese government to rename these places to Chinese names with the intention of grabbing these land, claiming them to be the int integral part of China. And we demand that the government of India should show its seriousness in dealing with the aggressive nature of the Chinese government. From time to time, we have seen the incursion from China into different parts of Arshal Pradesh, and we demand that the government of India should show the same attitude that is showing in the western part of the border, and also the same attitude should be shown in the eastern part of the border of the country. And also, with regard to Anshal Pradesh, the government of India, till today, it's been more than 10 years now that the issue of staple visa has affected the people of Anshal Pradesh. And this staple visa, in which the people from Anshal Pradesh, if they want to go to China, the immigration or the embassy, the Chinese embassy, will not give them a visa, but will just staple the visa in their passport. And in turn, the Indian immigration will not accept this staple visa, which resulted that the people of Anshal Pradesh has been suffering, the athletes have been suffering, who are supposed to go and participate in the different tournaments in China. They could not because of this staple visa adopted by the Chinese government. And the Indian government, till today, for more than 10 years now, has not been able to solve this issue. The Executive Council, NESO, uh, meet, uh, Council meeting of NESO has also taken note uh, that the host, the NSF, has brought out a few issues. And the NESO, after discussing these issues, we are of the view and we would like to urge upon the government of Nagaland to start or to commission the medical college in this academic year in the state of Nagaland. And also, we call upon the government of Nagaland to effectively implement the inner line permit regulation 
in the whole state of Nagaland. And also with regard to the Indo-Naga political talk, the NESO has also always maintained that there should be political dialogue with all the armed groups. And in this particular situation, in this particular instant, we called that the talks should be inclusive, honorable, acceptable solution in a time frame manner. So I'd like to call upon our Chief Advisor and also our Secretary General to further elaborate on these few points. Thank you so much, my dear friends. The Chairman Nesso, he has already mentioned the issues which we have discussed in our Executive Council meeting. The NESO, which is the umbrella organization of the Northeastern regions, the member organizations of NESO, the official of NESO, we all are working hard. The issues which are confronting with the Northeastern region. The NESO, as I have said, as an umbrella organization, we are working hard for the larger interest, for the common interest of the region. We hope and believe that today what we have discussed, what we raised our voice. I believe the authority will definitely, we believe and hope that the authority will listen to the voice of the Northeastern region. So we are looking forward that the support from every corner is very much required as and when NESO take up any issues for the larger interests of the Northeastern region. Thank you. Uh, respected uh, journalists of uh, Dimapur and Nagaland. So the uh, first executive council meeting of uh, NESO was held today. Uh, we have uh, different issues uh, faced by the indigenous people of uh, Northeastern region. Some vital academic issues faced by the student community of Northeastern region. So we have a resentment in our mind. We have seen that the Honorable Prime Minister, Honorable Home Minister, the central leaders, they are visiting North East frequently. But they are not realizing the core issues which was faced by the student community of North Eastern region and which is faced by the indigenous people of North Eastern region. So, with, with a feeling of resentment, we would like to tell the Honorable Prime Minister of the country, Honorable Home Minister of the country, and most intellectuals of the country, till now they don't feel there is a part of the country beyond Calcutta. This is our feeling. They are coming to us the North East. Prime Minister, Home Minister, they are usually they are announcing their, their ministers are visiting North East. Fine, they should come to North East. But what about the permanent solution of the core issues faced by the indigenous people of North East? That's our question. And there is a feeling, on that point we have a feeling that the leaders, the central government, the most of the intellectuals, still they are not feeling there is a part of the country beyond Calcutta that is North East. That is our feeling. Why? There are some reasons. And reasons are very clear. Our students they are going out for higher studies. Thousands of their students they are going out. It's, there is a positive sign also that our students are going out to Delhi, Bangalore, Pune. It's good. But those students who are meritorious but they cannot afford to go out for higher study, where they will go? They will have to study in Nagaland. They will have to study in North East. And for that we need more education institute, technical, non-technical, professional institute that we want. 
that is the need of the hour and in the unofficial survey it is found that the more than 300 crores per annum is going on because our students are going on so more technical non technical institutions we want new new courses should be established introduced in all the universities of northeast new new courses should be introduced in all the universities of northeast new institutions technical non technical professional institutions should be set up in northeastern region and in this case here we are sitting in nagaland dimapur naga students federation is always doing that we should have a engineering a medical college now the state government they have decided to set up a medical college but we want that this should be, be time bound within this academic year the medical college should start and central government should give full financial support to this medical college you just you just see naga student federation is celebrating 75 years and we do not have a medical college in nagaland this is the reality and for that okay one medical college it should start immediately another medical college should also start because where our student will start? Here the student of Nagaland will start. So here the Prime Minister is coming to Northeast. Home Minister is roaming around Northeast. So we'll, we'll, we like to tell the Prime Minister and the Home Minister. This is Nagaland, part of Northeast. In all the Northeast region, we must get all technical, non-technical education institute where our student can study. This is one issue. Second issue is the influx of illegal foreigners. Influx of illegal foreigners in Bangla, Bangladesh is a threat to the identity of the indigenous people of Assam and Northeast. The whole demography pattern of Northeast has changed. We have seen the fate of Tripura. The total population of Tripura is 40 lakhs, and out of 40 lakhs, only 15 lakhs are the indigenous Tripuris residing in Tripura. This is the fate of the indigenous Tripuris. Same in the case of Assam, same in the case of Nagaland, Meghalaya, Manipur, Orissa, everywhere. In, in order so the Sakma problem is there. So this, 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 there must be a comprehensive approach on the part of the government of India to solve this vex for national problem. We are saying that the detection, deletion and deportation of all illegal foreigners from Bangladesh. Now the government of India is imposing car on the people of Northeast, CAA. We are opposing. Now the Government of India saying in first way they have failed to pass this in the parliament. In the second attempt, they said that the inner line covert states are exempted. That means Mizoram, Nagaland, Urnasal, now Manipur is exempted from CA. Six little covert areas are exempted. That means 98% of Magalaya, seven states of Assam. 60% areas of Tripura is exempted. So we have a question to Honorable Prime Minister and Home Minister from the soil of Nagaland. If Ka is bad for the inland covert areas of Northeast, if Ka is bad for the six civil covert areas of Northeast, how this Ka can be good for the other parts of Northeast? That's a question. We like to hear from him. Honorable Prime Minister is coming. Honorable Home Minister is roaming around. So we like to ask. The Honorable Prime Minister at home said, if Ka is bad for the inner and covert areas of Northeast, if Ka is bad for the six little covert, covert areas of Northeast, how this Ka can be good for other parts of Northeast? So Ka must go from the Northeast and region. On the other hand, the ASPA. ASPA, the, we have faced, the indigenous people of Northeast has faced a lot. And the last incident is voting where the Naga Student Federation had taken a very strong stand along with the civil societies of the Nagaland where Northeast Student Organization has extended full support there is a Northeast wide -right protest now the, due to the continuous process protest the government of India had decided to relax okay we are welcoming the initiative of the central government but we are not satisfied it will be totally withdrawn. Relaxation will only solve this problem. It's a draconian act, so ASPA must be totally withdrawn from the northeastern region. On the other hand, regarding the influx of illegal foreigners, 
in Assam there is Assam Accord that should be implemented within a specific time frame. There is a commitment by the government of, government of India. The government of India has formed a high level committee to give constitutional safeguard for the indigenous people of Assam. As per clause 6 of the Assam Accord, this committee was formed by the government of India. The committee has submitted this report to the government of India. Two years has passed, no result. So, constitutional safeguard as committed by the government of India must be given to the people of Assam as per the clauses of the Assam Accord. On the other hand, ILP, ILP one, one part that Naga, in Nagaland, ILP should be implemented in an effective way. On the other part, the ILP should be introduced in whole, not whole of the ILP is not applicable in Meghalaya, in Assam, in Tripura. So ILP should be introduced in all the states of the Northeastern region. On the other hand, uh, the government of India is shouting about their strong external affairs policies. Okay. We want that, yes, our country should be strong enough in the external affairs policy. But what about the Urnasal? In Urnasal, the provision of staple visa is on. Why? Why staple visa is on in Urnasal protest? It should be scrapped. And government of India should show, should show their strongness, boldness regarding scrapping of staple visa system. Perhaps nobody knows that the, any Urnasal is wish to visit China, they won't get visa. They got only staple visa. So that system should be scrapped. And naming some of the areas of Urnasal produced by China, it's condemnable. And it is because of the weakness on the part of the central government. You see, it is because of the weakness of the government of India. So we want strong stand on the part of the government of India. We want a special constitutional status for the whole of the Northeast. We are, we are rich by national resources. So we want a special constitutional status for whole of Northeast with right over land and national resources. That is a must. <coughs> Regarding the ongoing peace process, Indu Naga peace talk, we want that it should be time bound and it should be inclusive, acceptable and honorable. <coughs> and government of India should initiate the whole process in a time bound manner. On the other hand, uh, we are opposing that uh, CUET, that is common university entrance test because we have less universities and there will be common entrance test so it, our students will suffer. Along with that we want a special, uh, Northeast should be treated as a special employment zone and it should be treated as a special economic zone. We want development. Government of India is saying at first they said look is, now said act is. Now we would like to ask the government of India what is act is? They say the North is a uh, ostoloxy. So what it means actually? Actis means what? Whether North East will be the corridor for explo exploitation or it will be economic hub. We want that North East should be treated as an economic hub, not as a corridor for exploitation. So it should be treated as a special economic zone and a special employment zone. Regarding NRC, we have decided that there should be NRC throughout the Northeast. The modalities may differ statewide. We want solution of the uh, Rex, uh, We want a permanent solution of the uh, flood and erosion problem of Assam because it affects uh, the economy of Northeast. Permanent solution of the interstate border also. Inclusion of Kog, Borok, Khasi, and Garu language that in the eighth schedule of the Indian constitution. These are some of the issues we have decided. We have adopted some resolutions, but at the same time, what will do? What will be our roadmap? These are demands. So the new uh, Central Committee of uh, Activity Council uh, of uh, Northeast Student Organization will again meet the central leaders of the central government. 
will meet the state uh, governments of the seven states will meet the central leaders of the government of india will meet the uh, cm and governors of the seven states will put a will put pressure on the governments for a permanent solution of these issues but at the same time we'd like to warn the central government if they fail to solve this problem again then we'll continue our democratic peaceful movement no way out we'll continue our democratic peaceful movement what will be the what will be the uh, nature of the movement we'll decide in our next executive council meeting which will be held at shillong our next executive council meeting will be held at shillong where you decide but in the, in the meantime as because this is our first meeting of the new committee and we have expressed our resentment the central leaders they don't think there is a part of the country beyond calcutta that is our feeling they are not solving our issues we are highlighting some of the core issues we want that these issues should be solved immediately but if they fail we will meet them we then will submit our memorandum also but if they fail then we'll have to continue our non violent democratic movement throughout northeast there will be northeast wide movement 